Your breaking news and weather authority. This is 13 Wham News this morning on Rochester's CW in high definition. Welcome back. Let's take a look at the forecast for today. It is a frosty Friday out there. So when you step outside, you're going to feel it is pretty chilly. Only 29 degrees right now. We're only going to warm up to about 46 degrees. Okay. I had a plum assignment. I got a chance to go to the circus. Uh, I went, of course, to the Blue Cross Arena and got a chance to meet some of the performers behind the scenes, or rather, I got to see them uh, in a personal showing of our own for 13 Wham in Rochester CW. Take a look, because I got a chance to meet America's favorite cowboy. Hey guys, you know, I am running away with the circus and I'm actually going to pick an outfit. You know, I'm trying to figure out what looks good in HD. I think yellow, maybe, no, maybe turquoise is better. Oh, heck, I don't know. Maybe all of them. These are beautiful coats. This is the wardrobe here at the greatest show on earth. And look who's joining me, the animals. Uh, but of course, <laughs> I've got a treat for you guys. We'd like to introduce you now to Andre McLean. America's, America's favorite cowboy. Ah, you said it best. Andre, <laughs> what is your show all about? This is the 200th anniversary of P.T. Barnum's birth. So it's a big show, a big celebration. What do we have behind us? That's right. This is Barnum 200. It's the biggest birthday bash in the history of circus. And these are some of my beautiful animals. And this is the lovely Vicky. Vicky's an animal trainer and also a great juggler here at Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey, the greatest show on earth. But this year we made it bigger and better than ever. We've got a strong man that lifts over 1,200 pounds. We've got a young lady that hangs 35 feet in the air by the strands of her hair. We have elephants. We have tigers. We oh have a wonderful high wire. <laughs> we have a great trapeze act. We've got a globe of steel, seven motorcycles inside of one globe. This year, you don't want to miss it. It's bigger and better than ever. I love it, Andre. Your energy is infectious, and the animals certainly seem to be uh, getting into it, too. What is Vicky doing with these beautiful little animals? You know, it's kind of like Noah's Ark, as you see. It's two of each kind, two ponies, uh, two goats, two donkeys. And I'm going to step in in a minute, and we're going to do a little bit of a little figuration here. You go for it, Andre. Go for it. You do that. And again, the show runs until Sunday. This is so much fun. And here they are performing for us live this morning. All right, let's take a look. A well-oiled machine. Again, the greatest show on earth. We're giving you just a sample this morning for you to come on out and take a look. The show runs through Sunday. We're going to have much more from Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus. Back to you guys. So, did you know the circus is in town? I did. When's I the heard last you had time some fun you, there. I had a great time. I had a great time. When's the last time you've been to the circus? Oh, it's been a long time. Yeah. I remember going a couple times here in town when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. That was me too. Fun. That was always, yeah. yeah. But it's been a long time. And I got to go yesterday. And uh, I got a chance to see how things kind of work behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I got a chance to also meet some amazing aerialists. You like my alliteration? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look. It's called the greatest show on earth for a reason, because there's always something to thrill the audience. And with me right now is Tara Ogren. She is a contortionist who is on the ground for now. And uh, Tara, you're this, how long have you been doing this? How long have you been performing with the circus? I've been with Ringling Brothers for about three years now. Okay, and how did you decide you wanted to do this? <laughs> Growing up, I was a gymnast, and then in college, I joined and extracurricular circus and wow. then I came here. Extracurricular circus, that's kind of neat actually, you know, what do you do on your downtime? She joined the circus. Uh, we've got this amazing troupe of young ladies behind us who are going to be performing. Um, they're aerialists and contortionists or they're different? It's a different thing. Um, they're the same as me. We're all aerialists. Okay. And um, how high do they get during a show? 
they usually go about 30 or so feet. Oh my goodness. And this troop is from, uh, is, they're not from the United States. Where are they from? They're from China. It's okay. the Puyang Acrobatic Troop. Wow. And so these ladies, the type of discipline that it takes for this, not to mention just physical fitness, it's got to be pretty grueling on you, huh? Yes, it requires a lot of strength and flexibility and just trusting yourself and feeling confident in what you're doing. Now, these ladies have performed together, so that probably helps when you know the people you're performing with, right? It definitely helps to trust and know the people you're working with yeah. up there. What would you say your favorite part is traveling with the circus all over the world is, is what you do, right? I love it. I like going to the different cities and seeing what, what different things each one has to offer. Yeah. And now, when you do this, and you do this for the show, right, you're, you have a number as well, um, what are the audiences, I mean, probably a lot of gasps and just, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, they love it. They always love, um, there's one part where it's very pretty and they're all kind of connected together and we always get a big applause for that part. Yeah, that is great. These ladies um, are all pretty much uniform height and size. That's important too when you're an aerialist, uh, right? Is, is that important or does it necessarily not have to be that way? It depends on what kind of act you're doing. For this act, it works better to have about the same size of girls. Oh, they're going fast now. What's this? <laughs> This oh is gosh. the last part of the routine, and it's um, just a very nice, elegant part to really showcase flexibility and strength. And Can you do any of this practicing on the ground at all, or does it all have to be done in the air when you're practicing? When you're practicing, you can do it lower, uh -huh. um, but mostly you have to kind of learn it on the apparatus. Otherwise, you can just work your flexibility and strength. Yeah. Did they all start out as dancers? I mean, do many of them begin as dancers? I don't think... There's almost a ballet quality about it. I don't think they start out as dancers. It's more likely maybe gymnasts. Okay. It is beautiful. Very graceful indeed. And again, this is just one of the many acts you'll be able to see here at the Ringling Brothers and Barnum & Bailey Circus. Uh, Tara, thank you so much. Thank you very much. And good luck to you and enjoy Rochester. Thank you. All right. Back to you guys.